taste buds they come into the mic talking about the food they hate talking about the food they like two fools gonna fight but only one food can be right taste buds man yeah they come folks it's the taste buds podcast how you doing <laughs> but, no you jumped right into that and then uh i don't know it's just funny you're just like how you doing do you enjoy it i did good good i like i like when you take the reins in the beginning you you do the equivalent of that yeah! <laughs> if the show was a horse who takes the reins on uh hey babe usually we start off singing a, a song in unison okay yes that we just, I don't know how it started, actually. I think I was like, hey, babe, hey, babe. Right. And then we just sang it one day. And then the next time we just added it. So that's how it happens. I sang a song when I did it. I got to play a message that you left me. I got to find it. Maybe I could find it and play it. When you sang me a song, you like, when I wasn't feeling well. <laughs> And you left me a message on my phone that was like, my sweet boy, <laughs> how are you feeling, my sweet boy? I was crying laughing. Listen, <laughs> can I find it and play it? Hey, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah, please. Let's see, let's see. Sal and I trade audio <laughs> messages a lot. We talked about that on the show before. But you save all of them, which I do not do. And now I'm regretting that I haven't done that. Yeah, I don't say, yeah, now because I have it on default that they save because otherwise you have to wait and hit keep. Otherwise they leave after two minutes. All right, I'm going back. You can send a default, set a, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know either until I found out. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see if I could find. (laughs) Now we both know. Okay, I came home around this time, so let me see. And I hope this helps as you lay your head on your pillow, put the phone next to your ear. Sleep, sleep, my baby. <laughs> Feverish baby. Sleep, sleep, my baby. I love you. <laughs> Take your medicine. Drink the cough syrup. Sleep, sleep, my baby. I love you. It sounds psychotic, dude. It does. It's so funny. It sounds psychotic. I was dying last listening to that. It's, I'm okay, by the way. I had a cold. Yeah, when I when I rec- was recording that, I was like, I was laughing because I was like, this sounds like a, when a man sings before he murders you. <laughs> yeah, it's like very like Silence of the Lambs. You're like, take your medicine. Yeah. Drink the cough syrup. Doesn't really flow. I love you. Doesn't really flow. <laughs> we gotta get those lyrics on the back of a shirt. <laughs> we gotta get those lyrics on the back of a shirt. What if next week, Pimp, the intro is not the taste buds? <laughs> it's not the taste buds at all, but it's just DeRosa being like, sleep, my baby. I love you. We should make that we should make that the outro music every week we should publish it to spotify as its own song it's just a single oh yeah. could we do that yeah. oh okay all right i'll yeah. send it to you cut out the beginning part of the message and just have his nighttime and this way anyone can co-opt that and play that for their child when they're not feeling well yeah and then people can remix it just the it's just soothing acapella. sounds of derosa it's just acapella people can do whatever they want with it <laughs> That'd be fun, man. Let's do that. That's you great. You sound like like what someone would sing to their child when they were like, like in M. Night Shyamalan's The Village. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, have your medicines. <laughs> oh, it's fun stuff. It's fun stuff. I love it. I love it. That's fun. All right. Pimp's going to cut that up, and then we'll Got put it. it out. Let's do it. Yeah. Speaking of fun, fun rhymes with bun. Bun like a Cinnabon, Cinnabon like a Cinnabon. To help today's today, in my opinion, we we might have alienated a few people because these stores are are they're, they're they're very popular. They're around. They're not everywhere, but they're in most places, at least here in the states. But we've got a hell of a mall matchup today: the Cinnabon versus Annie Ann's. Oh, I mean, this is... Oh, you're going to need to keep that a page up for me when I get to it, Pimpy. How uh, did we not think of this one earlier? This is nice because it's branding, which I like. It's brand names going against each other. If you aren't familiar with either of them or you are overseas and they are unavailable, simply substitute Andy Ann's pretzels for a hot pretzel. Uh, but it's more than that because they have all different colors, flavors, and dips. Mm-hmm. Colors? <laughs> well, they do actually have different colors. There's a jalapeno pretzel. Yeah. There's a sour cream and onion pretzel. 
uh, which is bright white. There's a pepperoni one with red dots on oh it. God, now I'm going to want this. I'm See this? I can't, dis- I can't stop. just look. I'm from Philly, and I love a soft pretzel. These disgust me looking at That's them. That's not right true now. at all. They're okay. disgusting. And to me. cinnabon is a cinnamon roll, essentially a cinnamon yeah. bun or cinnamon roll. So substitute that. Although I'm sure I mean, cinnabon is the ultimate. They're elevated of the cinnamon. Look they also this. have churros, cinnamon sticks, uh, you know, all different types of things. Look at this, things. dude. They got a, so uh, they have a bowl just called center of the roll where they take all the outside part out and just put the middle part. It's good. I recently had my first Cinnabon of my life, by the way. It's, on, on Hey Babe, believe it or not. It's heavenly, dude. Chris stopped and got one on the way here because I had never tried one. I tried it. And it is very good. I will tell you. It is gooey and sticky and delicious, but it is dense. It is heavy. It is over the top. It's a bit too much. And my favorite part of the whole thing is actually the icing, which well, really is is like really 5% of the Cinnabon. Which is why uh, Cinnabon very early on instated the extra icing policy. What is that? You ask for extra icing and they give you a cup, an extra cup of it. I know a lot of people that do that. At That's Cinnabon. true. Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard of that. Joe, look at me in the face. You've never been to Cinnabon. I never have, but I've never heard anyone speak about that. Yeah, you, that's, they'll I mean, gladly that's a, give you extra that's frosting. That's a home run policy. They, they'll they gladly give you a little extra frosting. What, you don't believe hey, me? Hey, Siri. Cinnabon near me. To do. Put it to the mic. Call. Cinnabon. Babe, Cinnabon. Hello? Siri sucks Cinnabon. sometimes. Cinnabon. Cinnabon, call him. You got to start over Fucking, again. Hey, Siri, call Cinnabon. You know, if Apple, if you're watching, and we know that you are, do something about Siri because Alexa's whooping her hide. Yeah, I know. Alexa is real good. Calling Cinnabon. You're telling me there's a policy that they instated where you say, I want more icing now, and they hand it to they you for free. I want extra icing with my Cinnabon. They give you a little cup. Do they charge you? No. I don't think so. Purchasing extra icing is not what you said. You said they I said a, that they an extra they're f- quite familiar with people wanting extra icing. Oh, hey, can I ask you a question about the Cinnabon? Um yeah, wh- what about it? Someone told me and I don't know if it's true cuz they were going to come by there. If you want extra icing, um if someone wants extra icing, do you guys provide that as a side just free of charge in a cup or do you have to pay extra for the extra icing? Uh, you have to you have to pay extra for the for the frosting. Uh, how much is that, an extra side of frosting? Uh, 99 cents. Uh, okay. But there is no policy made by Cinnabon Corporate wherein you want extra icing and you say, please give me extra Nobody icing, and then you guys was. give them a free side of icing in a cup. Uh, I, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody does. Thank you so much, sir. I never said they just give you free icing. I said they have a policy where they're in the practice of giving extra icing when you ask for it. Which he just denied. I, it's like kind of like when you get extra sauce for your nuggets, they charge you, but they know that it's a thing. It's like extra cheese. Like it's a feature. I should have said feature. Sorry. Ordering more of what they sell is not a feature in my eyes. You said there was a policy. That made me I feel think it's like a feature. Cinnabon Brass got together and said, you know what? As a lifestyle choice, we're well, going to have a thing where people know if they want extra icing, they get it on I the I got arm. news for you, babe. I ain't been in a Cinnabon in years. Why would My you friend, be talking about Cinnabon corporate policy then? I didn't talk about corporate policy. I'm telling you, I used to go to the Cinnabon in the King of Pressure Plaza with my friend Bill, and he would ask for extra icing, and they'd always give him a little cup of it. That's all I know. Okay. They never argued. They never scoffed. They seem like man's talking 99 cents plus state and local tax. I mean, look, in my book, 99 cents for an an extra cup of delicious icing. I mean, what are you complaining about here? Okay. You know, you go, it's like, it's like. I just feel like I poked a hole. Let's put it this way. A place doesn't, Wendy's doesn't have add bacon on the menu for no reason. It's because they know some people want that bacon. Cinnabon knows some people want more icing, so they've got it on the menu. 99 cents, an extra thing of icing. I think it's fair. You called it a policy. I used the wrong term, and I admit that. Okay. Well, look, Cinnabon. Tell you what, you, you think you get these sauces for free at Annie Ann's? No, but I didn't say that. I didn't say, I never said free. Let me take you through the Annie Ann's menu, folks. Let's start with the dips. You got 
a honey must. By the way, the hot pretzel in and of itself is a powerhouse food that fills you up. It's always good. I love a soft I pretzel. I love dipping mustard in it. I love a, a big Bavarian German pretzel at a, at a place like that. I love a ball game pretzel. I love a, a city hot pretzel from the corner from the dirty water dog guy. There, are, you'll, you'll be hard pressed to find people that don't really hold I up. I love a soft pretzel. A soft hot pretzel. That being said, who is innovating this? Who is coming up with better taste profiles? Who is coming up and, and, and blowing the doors open in the soft hot pretzel world? Annie Ann's been around since 1988 with 1,500 locations. You got your standard mustard dip. That's a, a, a layup with all pretzels. They got the honey mustard. They got the cream cheese dip. They have a sweet glaze dip, the same sweet glaze that goes on Cinnabons. No, 100. it's not. It's 100%, buddy. 100%. Is that the is the same icing. owner? It's the same exact concept. It's creamy, uh, white, sweet icing. Let me get this this straight. Let me get this straight. You're going to nail me to the wall on Cinnabon's 99 cent extra frosting (laughs) policy. You got the audacity to, after you had Cinnabon one time, to tell me that Annie Ann's is the same exact. It is. Where is the audacity? It's the same thing. Where are you getting this from? I'm just stating a fact. It might be similar. How about the hot salsa cheese dip? That's not salsa or cheese. It's hot salsa cheese. Look, I'm going to go down this. How about a caramel dip? I'm going to go down this list. No, no, no. Go back, Pam. Caramel dip. Who cares? Cheese dip what? looks gross. One of the hot best salsa cheese dip, disgusting for a pretzel. You know you would have light that cream cheese dip doesn't go with a pretzel. Marinara dip, no thank you. Sweet glaze dip, I could see it, and maybe a honey mustard. <laughs> the marinara dip, you don't the have, only one I'll give you. The one you claimed isn't even on there. What mustard? Honey mustard. There's no regular mustard dip on there. Well, that's because they're not going to put mustard as a as a dip. Why? Because it's just a condiment. No, it's not. How dare you? It's not just a condiment. It's Baby the best girl, condiment. Baby girl, you don't think they're going to give you mustard if you ask for mustard? I'm not seeing a brown mustard dip, which is what I would want to put my soft pretzel into. And I'm arguing I'm arguing the Annie Ann's pretzel, so I won't jump into the rest of their menu, where they wrap an all-beef frank in their delicious pretzel bun, and they have it with jalapeno and cheese. I won't even get into that. I mean, the stu- I'm getting a stomachache just looking at these, No dude. way, dude. Folks, if it's fresh, it's Hello Fresh. What is Hello Fresh? With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. And why wouldn't it be with their family-friendly menu and... A big win for the back-to-school season, by the way. Parents out there, this makes it a real easy and delicious uh, way for you to cook some great recipes for the family, for drama-free dinners. You know, we know Not if you're at the table. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every single week. Vegetarian meals, calorie-smart options, extra special gourmet options. There's something for everyone to enjoy with recipes designed and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. And let's talk value. HelloFresh is over 30% cheaper than shopping at the grocery store. They've got pre-portioned ingredients that ensure you won't spend money on excess food that ends up going in the trash. People, I don't know what the problem is here. It comes to your door. It's cheaper than going to the store, and you don't have to think. I mean, this this is the only way I'll cook, actually. I don't need... I need to be given a structure. And I also... Can I just say something? I also really find it pleasant to cook with other people I agree. and make it a social event. Open up a glass of wine and have an experience while you make your meal. It makes you enjoy the meal more, and I don't have that experience when I don't use HelloFresh. I agree. HelloFresh.com slash TasteBuds14. That's HelloFresh.com slash TasteBuds14, and use the code TasteBuds14 to get 14 free meals, including so shipping. Meals. That is HelloFresh.com slash TasteBuds14, and use the code TasteBuds14 to get 14 free meals including shipping hello hello fresh america's number one meal kit summertime's a time to travel and some some of you might be lucky enough to be traveling abroad and guess what maybe you want to learn a language before you get to your destination and that's where Babbel comes in the number one selling language learning app from ordering in restaurants or asking for directions to gaining a deeper knowledge or understanding of a culture 
Babbel's there for you to make the whole process of learning that new language addictively fun and easy. That is the part. It's an app, and, and they have 15-minute lessons. And it's not like when we took language in like high school and school where it's like drilling you. They make it fun. They make it conversational. They make it you to be able to apply it mm -hmm. to real-world stuff, and that's yeah. what I, I like about Babbel. My mom's using it right now to learn Italian. Oh, really? Yeah, and she's loving it. That's so cool. She's loving it. Yeah. There's so many... Give me a call. Talk in Italian. Okay, I will. I'll test her. I will, I will. test her. You think I won't test your mom? And don't tell me right now. Right now, if she's she's not doing well, I'll tell your mother that too. All right, okay, I like it. I like it. Let's put the let's put the money where the mouth is. It's this woman, there's so who she is now because she's learning Italian. <laughs> There's so many ways to learn with Babbel in addition to lessons. You can access podcasts and games and videos and stories and even live classes. So, of course, we have a deal for you, right? Right now, our listeners, when you purchase three months of Babbel uh, subscription, you'll get an additional three months free. They double it. What a deal. Buy three, get three free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code TASTEBUDS. With an S. And that's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Code TASTEBUDS for an extra three months free. The regular pretzel dog is great. The tiny pretzel bites are great. Annie the jalapeno Ann's. cheese one and cheese one are so gross. Can we just go to the pretzel types, pimp? Okay. Uh, can we scroll to the top? I'll start from the beginning. Listen to this. You got your original hot pretzel. And by the way, Love an original. this is also not the pretzel that you're getting on the New York street. It's not the pretzel that you're getting at Yankee Stadium. They dip these pretzels in butter and I'm saying that as a plus. It is you when you get an alien's pretzel, they give it to you in like the little wax paper, so you don't, you know, your hands stay. You smell when you pass an Annie Anne's in a mall, it's uh, all bets off. I Same mean, thing with Cinnabon. But yeah, that buttery, I mean, that butter hot buttery if you're, taste if you're, if you're, it's undeniable. If you're saying scent to scent, Cinnabon's got you beat. But we I love the, the buttery smell of an Annie. It's covered in butter, is all I'm saying. It's Annie not Anne's dry. original, good pretzel. Cinnamon sugar. Pretty lights good. out. Pretty good. It's like a churro meets a pretzel. That's Pretty good, but it lacks the salt, and it's it's a little bit of a letdown when people you get it. use that with the cream with the cinnamon sugar. You have a cinnamon sugar with the dip. It's essentially like all the best parts of the cinnamon, but with a pretzel. Sweet, Sweet almond. almond, my Who favorite cares? one. My Who favorite cares? one. Sweet it almond. is unbelievable. I dip it in the caramel. It has a crunch to it. It's a buttery crunch with caramel. That doesn't sound good to you? Keep no. going, Pimpy. Sour cream and onion. Disgusting. For the savory in you. Disgusting. Roasted garlic and parmesan. Even grosser. Sa not true. Pepperoni. The grossest. A pepperoni yet. pretzel. No way. The grossest Jalapeno yet. Jalapeno with the cheese dip. Even for grosser for that than the pepperoni pretzel. And, and then, then finally, just a lonely raisin oh, pretzel. A lonely down raisin? How a dare lonely, you? Lonely. You argued for cinnamon raisin bagels. I love a cinnamon raisin bagel. And now bagel. you got cinnamon That's a soft pretzel and with raisins raisin. in it. I would try it. And I would even try the honey almond or whatever the hell it was called. But those savory ones almond. are disgusting, dude. Those are disgusting. You haven't had them. Don't you dare. I never would. Then I don't would never say eat a soft, I would never eat a soft pretzel with savory uh, seasoning. How can you say it's disgusting then? Because say it, it doesn't sound because appetizing it doesn't, to me. Because it looks disgusting to me. You, you've got a jalapeno. You got a pretzel with what looks like burnt crispy jalapenos a Cinnabon, glued to cheese a on Cinnabon it. Is it the, looks so gross. A Cinnabon dude. is the weight of a goddamn large grapefruit. Yeah. It's just packed with goo. Now let's go down carbs the menu and here. sugar. Now let's go down the menu here. Let's go down the menu here. You got your classic rollover at Cinnabon. Unbelievable. Then you got your Bond Bite. So it's the Cinnabon. Why? It's the exact same thing, smaller. Go yeah. Ahead. Yeah. For the people like you that weenie complain that it's too big and heavy, there's a <laughs> little dainty one product. you can have. Skew. You the can have a little product. dainty one. But it's the same product. Sometimes I like to I just eat two you, of the small ones. I just gave you eight different pretzels and eight babe, different dips. Babe, we're two you know things into the menu. We're two things into the menu. Settle down now. That's eight to the eighth power. Settle you know down now. Settle down. We're going to go through the menu. You could have, legitimately, you could probably have 64 different types of... Settle down now. Caramel pecan bun. 64 combinations. Caramel of pecan bun. You ever have caramel pecan cinnamon bun? I, I have, because caramel you think is gross from a moment ago. You said caramel was no, gross. No, I said the caramel pretzel dip looked gross. Who cares about that, you said? Uh, caramel pecan bun bites. Okay, just a smaller version. Center of the roll. I mean, just genius, because everybody's favorite part of a cinnamon bun is the center of the roll. Then they got Cinna Sweeties. 
Then they got cinnamon sticks, which actually are churros, unlike your pretzel powdered in cinnamon. That's whatever. They get a churro swirl. That is genius. They took a, a churro chur- and they wrapped it into a donut shape. Yeah. It's genius. It's the same thing as a churro. Let me tell you something about the Cinnabon. Okay? Then we got nobody the- can finish a Cinnabon without getting a stomachache. That's nobody can finish a Cinnabon without feeling Sal, like that their is life so not is true. falling apart. Sal, that you is so not true. And Sal, you finish you've it. had one once. You get a Cinnabon and you finish time. it. You feel like your life is falling apart. True or false? Uh, no, my life doesn't feel you like don't. it's falling apart. You don't eat what two you pounds. You get a, you, and you get a charge from a pounds. honey almond caramel you dip pretzel? You don't eat two pounds of a moist glaze the size here. of a softball. It sits in your stomach. It's probably 2,400 calories get for a single here. bond. You're nuts. And you don't walk around the mall being like, what am I doing with my life? You can't You're give nuts. one of those to a kid. A kid will jump off the second floor of the mall post haste. You're nuts. You can't, a kid, you can't inject a kid with a Cinnabon. You're That's nuts. got to be 300 grams of sugar. And Let's babe, the nutritional facts, Pimpy. Babe, I'll say it to you as I always say it to you. A big, more extravagant menu doesn't impress me. Cinnabon keeps it simple because all they need to do is keep it simple, okay? They have such a strong product, that is it. Yeah, 880 calories, in 36 one, grams of one, fat, 59 one. grams of sugar, equivalent to 15 teaspoons of sugar. You know what else? It's why it tastes awesome. It okay. is awesome. I'm not eating a Cinnabon for lunch. I'm not dieting on Cinnabons. Okay? I'm having a Cinnabon once in a while as an amazing by the treat time that's you indulgent. Come, by the time you come out of the other end of that Cinnabon tunnel, though, your life is in shambles. <laughs> the, the, the quote you're reading says it's like eating a bowl of sugar. All that sugar will cause a spike in blood sugar and then crash. I'm not saying I'm completely free of that with the Annie Anne's. But just the density give me and weight the, of the Give cinnamon. me the nutritional guide on that Annie Ann's jalapeno cheese pretzel. That abomination that exists on this earth. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wait, wait, wait. Can we get... Pimp. Okay, this is how he spelled Pimp. Annie Ann's cheese... Oh, he just fixed it. Okay. So pepperoni pizza, 480. Pepperoni pizza, no butter, 440. So half. I love you. Uh, where is that? Where is that? Keep scrolling. Well, it, nothing's going to be three thirty. Three. Not too bad. Now, okay, and the cheese, and the cheese. I, get, I guarantee the cheese is at least another hundred, hundred fifty at least. No, the cheese comes on it. No, yes, it does. It's it's made with the cheese. All right, so yours is eight eighty. That's three thirty. Yeah. Mine also tastes great and doesn't make you have the liquid shits that a cheese encrusted jalapeno Annie Ann's pretzel would have. I, think I mean, you, I would have to sit on the toilet as I ate it, dude. That's, that's, you're talking about the Cinnabon, bro. You're oh, talking it doesn't about the have cheese on it. You're right. Yeah, it does. I thought it had cheese. Well, no, I'm, sure, the I'm sure the side of cheese has its own nutritional facts, and I, and I cop to that. My point, though, is that, dude. Look at this. Look at this garbage. Si- Look at Cinnabon. this garbage. They're telling you what to pair it with, like it's fine dining. <laughs> Try it with a mango lemonade mixer and hot salsa cheese dip. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that they're trying to Disgusting, stimulate crossover growth on the dude. menu. Disgusting. You can't use that as an argument. My point here being Cinnabon large and wide is an every once in a while time treat. It's an every once in a while time food. I only had one in my life. People have it on occasion here or there. It's more like a bakery item. I know it's in a mall, but even in a mall, I passed it my whole life and didn't get it. Because at what point do I want to put up to my face a a goddamn monstrosity. You a cut it with a fork and knife. Monstrosity. You cut it with a fork and knife. And you didn't know the it's calories a, until just now. You I didn't assumed know that. it was double. Pimp, hit me with a mini bun. Nutritional value. Why? Because I want to know. But you could tell me the nutritional value of one bite then of a Cinnabon. I don't need it in its mini form. A mini bun is, is quite satisfactory and, and satisfying. A pretzel. People go to pretzels. Regular pretzels daily. So pretzels are already ingratiated to people as an all-the-time snack. A hot pretzel. Bond bites, 430. Less Great than your precious pre- pre- pretzel. Great. What? So what was the point that you proved that? My point is, is you don't have to get the giant cinnamon bun if you don't want it. You can get a mini bun for 350 calories. Great. Now, if you're going to get extra frosting, like you said it needed, like you said it needed, that's adding an extra 210. This is the guy that said it needed, that the giant Cinnabon with the frosting all over it wasn't enough frosting. He needed more. Once you penetrate the top, animal, the middle gets dry and the bottom is lights out dry. The, the, you and eat all the icing on top. Dry. Once you eat about 30% of the Cinnabon, you're left with no icing. And the icing is the star of the show with the and Cinnabon. And by the way, by the way. The dips just, for just, Annie Ann's are an accoutrement. Just a side note. Just a side note. We recorded today after Hey Babe, okay? Yeah. We recorded today after Hey Babe. 
We were supposed to start at 3.30. It got pushed till 4.30. Because it got pushed to 4.30, I hit rush hour traffic. I got here at 5. We're sitting here doing this episode. Then I got to drive home 45 to 55 minutes back, and it just started pouring rain. <laughs> you stuck it to me so good today. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy with how you stuck it to me. Oh, yeah, really? I'm just doing my, I'm just thinking about my Dave Matthews. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you son of a bitch today. Get a Cinnabon on your way home. It'll take you the whole ride to eat it. <laughs> Please. Then you could shit your pants as soon as you kick open the door. God damn, I was going to go get a whole thing. You hear it out there? <laughs> I do hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You happy? That's God bowling. Oh, my God. Listen, look at those things. Look at the yeah. churro chalotas. Yeah, listen, agree or disagree, right? <laughs> agree. Oh, my God. It just, it's just like, oh, my God. That looks like death. Churro you churro. can't eat all that. Look, it's got the donut on top of it. <laughs> it's a cup of hot, it's a cup of hot chocolate with a donut as a cover. I respect with, it. Whipped cream on the donut with a churro through the donut as a it. straw. I respect it so much, dude. They don't give churro a churrata. rat's ass over at Cinnabon. <laughs> I stand by these guys, dude. You're in a mall. What are we talking about? This is what you do in a mall, man. I feel like everybody, in the, everybody in the boardroom at Cinnabon is on an IV. <laughs> Oh, this, like. <laughs> this episode has a Peloton ad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, all Joe needs on his Peloton is a picture of a Cinnabon that he has to race toward, like a carrot yeah. dangling in front yeah. of him. Listen to me, true or false? A, cinna, a Cinnabon is a is a, is a not a, not an everyday treat. It's just not. That's a, like a, I said, it's not. A hot pretzel is way more of a frequent go-to than a Cinnabon. Just by virtue of that fact, I feel I like think the masses are telling us that, that Annie Ann's pretzels I are think better than arguably, Cinnabon. Arguably, I can hear the rain. I mean, it's just <laughs> pouring down. There's been there's been times where I by the way an Annie's pretzel it's not gargantuan it's not it doesn't have a lot of girth to it's it it's huge no it's not it's it's very very snackable it's very finishable uh, you don't feel like That's oh my god I can't move there's been Sal, there's been times where I finished pretzel, finished my pretzel and also still had more you're never gonna do that with a Cinnabon Cinnabon is like you could do take it with a mini bun it's been a while this is Cinnabon ready you do it Cinnabon is take this why are you discounting the mini bun over and over again. Why don't why well, I'm taking why Cinnabon you have, at its flagship product? You can't. You can't. Why? Because I'm not I taking take it. Annie Ann's at its flagship product. It's still a pretzel. No, I'm saying, but you're discounting the fact. First of all, Annie Ann's pretzels are huge. Pimp, pull up a picture of a hand holding an Annie Ann's pretzel. They're big, dude. That yeah, is not an not easy walk. Thick. And they're eat. easy eating. Look at the size of that thing. Are yeah, but you it's, nuts? But it's thin. Pimp, that has to, you have to throw that look, up. No, you have to. Look, Pimp, Pimp, Pimp you were Pimp, out of your very mind, simple. dude. Look up what Annie Ann's is in grams and look up what a Cinnabon original is in grams. By the way, you're supposed to eat a Cinnabon with a I fork I could throw and a knife. Cinnabon at you and it would. I would be taken to jail because it could be used as a weapon. I could take somebody out with a, with a dense Cinnabon. There is no way an Annie Ann's pretzel is only two ounces. Do you there is no way. Do you understand when you hit somebody in the face at a full baseball throw with a Cinnabon, you could lo knock their lights out cold? The uh, ounces, Pimp. I'll just talk to them. I'll just No, I'm trying. Because Pimp doesn't know that it's weighed in ounces and not grams. <laughs> oh, I he thought did. it was right, grams, tell you the right. truth. I really thought it was Hold grams. On. <laughs> it's a, Sub, it is, that, no, that's not that's a Cinnabon roll. That's not that is Cinnabon. not correct. Just go to Cinnabon Nutrition Facts. It'll be right on there in the serving size. <laughs> Where Just is go it? to Cinnabon Nutrition Cinnabon Classic Facts. Roll. Cinnabon Classic Roll. Click on that. There's got to be just <laughs> Cinnabon Nutrition Facts is all we need. Cinnabon Nutrition Facts. 268 All right, grams. 268 grams. <laughs> all right, so what is that? It's like a... Two pounds. No, it is not. A Cinnabon does not weigh two Pimpy, pounds. Pimpy, go 268 grams convert to, to convert to ounces. It does not weigh two pounds. It's nine right. ounces. It's nine and a half ounces. Two pounds, you okay. lunatic. 268 grams. Now, any end pretzel... It's two ounces, it says. I don't believe that. I think that 123 is 123 grams. It's half the size. Okay. But that's still big. But, it's, but you're double big. Babe, 
They have the mini bun. <laughs> How many times do I have to say it? Let me explain to you what Cinnabon is. You cut me off. Cinnabon is you haven't had this in a real long time. You've said Come it. here. We dare you. And fucking that. <laughs> Eat this if you dare. They, it's, I, it's almost it's like a not challenge. If you dare. You either you eat a cinnamon and you How often you eat a are you going to a mall you, and eating any in? I never. I'm oh, going to a mall once every I three, been four to a mall months. In Ten years. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I lived a long life before that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm telling you right now. I think the challenge with the cinnamon is: Can you finish this? That's not the case the, with an you ends. Listen, fine. Maybe it, it's not a challenge, and I can easily finish it. But I'll tell you this right you now: You think I want the itis let's while put, I'm trying to shop for deals? I shop till I drop. You the eat itis, a cinnabon, you drop. That's the beauty of cinnabon. You the shop. That's the beauty of cinnabon. They're in cahoots with the rest of the mall. They're putting you into a state of lethargy. You don't know what's no, up or down. You're going no. into stores and buying shit you don't need. No, I want to go to my aunt. Aunt. And She gives me the right around of nutrition I need. They can keep a pep in my stomach. Up so I can go and spend her gifts and buy a black light. I am giving I am giving Cinnabon credit for working against the buyer in the mall and for the proprietors. <laughs> no. I am giving them credit for that. No, you go home after you eat a Cinnabon, dude. I don't. You go home. I don't. That's where you, you go, oh, 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 I got to get home. I'm dead tired and I got to literally, I had to literally empty my bowels. I, bud, I, I will give you this. A, a, Annie Ann's pretzel is a lighter snack, flavor wise. If you get, eat, uh, look, I'll even give you regular or or cinnamon pretzel. I'll give you the two, the two like sort of landmark pretzels there. Okay, I give it to you. It's a lighter snack. But when you talk pound for pound deliciousness, you can't with a cinnabon with a goddamn soft pretzel. And I'm from Philly, and guess what? In Philly, the soft pretzels ain't hot. They're nice and cool. They're room temp, okay? Well, you can have it any way you like. Can I guess just No, you one? can't. You can't get a cold Annie Ann's. It's hard. You can't do that. People, I like to do myself a little bit of writing, and when I'm writing, I like to save some time, and I like to work more efficiently because it's the little things that start adding up and hogging up your day, and the next thing you know, you're aggravated and yelling at a computer screen. That's where Grammarly Premium came into my life and fixed stuff. This is going to give you real-time suggestions on your writing so you can get to the next item on your list in record time. You can use this to, 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 to find uh, clarity suggestions, for instance, so you're using the best language possible. Vocabulary suggestions so you don't have to stop and search for synonyms, uh, which I do all the time. I'm always looking on thesaurus.com for stuff. Yeah, my whole thing is I want to write something. I want it to sound as, as good as it could possibly sound, and it elevates my own the way i write in context my vocabulary stuff like that. i i threw it on recently because i was i've been writing decks for like pitches and stuff like that yeah. and there's one thing that i found that this actually helps me expand my vocabulary because yeah. it gives you the suggestion it's a word that i don't often use i like to go right then and there and look at the word and get an essence of the word i, yeah. I used to read the dictionary what about you no, I never did. All right, which I, is why I like this app. It makes me sound smarter. That's than why I, I like the app too. It's kind of like it actually improves my own vocabulary, and as it I integrates use it. seamlessly into Microsoft Office or your internet browser, your phone, and many, many, many more places. So here's the deal: you're going to get twenty percent off when you go to grammarly.com/tastebuds. That's g r a m m a r l y dot com slash tastebuds for twenty percent off. Grammarly.com slash tastebuds to get your deal today. Hit send with confidence and get your point across more effectively with Grammarly Premium. Get 20% off Grammarly Premium by signing up at Grammarly, G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y dot com slash taste buds. Uh, I mix, I match, I match, I mix, but I like to mix more than I like to match. You must be a fan of Izzy. I am. I like a good mix. What Izzy. am I getting? Hard seltzer with antioxidants, with Vitamin C, also less than a gram of carbs and about one gram of real cane sugar, poor can. I can live with this, folks. 100 cows, 5% alcohol by volume, which is stronger than some beers. I said this last time we talked about Vizzy. The blueberry watermelon flavor is knocking me sideways. That's part of their new variety pack, which has blueberry watermelon, kiwi watermelon, passion fruit watermelon, and mango watermelon. All are delish. But man, I'm loving that blueberry. Uh, I got to tell you, Vizzy is great. You can enjoy refreshments and get antioxidants at the same time. What more do you want? 5% average alcohol amount, 100 calories per can. And once again, one gram of real cane sugar per can. Every sip of Vizzy is more exhilarating. So, so you're going to want to try Vizzy today. And here's how you do it. 
You can purchase Vizzy by going to VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash Taste Buds. That's V-I-Z-Z-Y HardSeltzer.com slash Taste Buds. And if you want to get updates on the latest flavor drops and more, sign up for emails at VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash subscribe. Again, that's VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash subscribe. And you must be 21. You cannot get a cold any ants. You got to eat that thing. No, warm. they run it through the thing. You could tell them that you just want it from behind the thing without being heated up. Are you insane? Good luck with that. Good luck with that. They're right there. You say, eat I it want cold. that. Don't run it. Tell me the how it is oven. when you eat it cold. Eat it cold. It's tell me how it is. It's freaking delicious. My sister used to work there and bring home the leftover stock for the night and used to bring it home. Oh, see, now we're getting to the bottom of it. He's got family involved in the Sis- business. I mean, granted, no joke. This is. Easily 20 years ago. Easily. But she used to come home with a bag of Annie Ann's, and it All was right. just as good then as it was in the morning. Right. One other thing I'd like to tell you. Never, I've never seen that option. I've never been offered it war- cold. I've only been... Well, you, I, need, you have to get a, a, a order that works it to in Annie Ann's. No, I, <laughs> and I like it. Can I say one other thing? Go ahead. The, I like the breadth of choice, of flavor choice at Annie Ann's. You're not just getting... They're not building it on the standard salted pretzel, and that's it. Yeah. There's eight options and eight it. dips for 64 possible flavor combinations. With the Cinnabon, yeah, you, you, got you, one, you got one that throws a pecan in there. If you go to but, an but Annie really, Ann's, it's just all if you're Cinnabon in a mall, all the time. If you're in a mall. It gets old. If you're in a mall and you go up to a Annie Ann's and say, I would like your sour cream and onion pretzel with your jalapeno cheese dip, you were there to rob a GameStop. <laughs> You were there to do something no, awful in that no, ball. No, no sane no person way. is getting that. No way. I, I, it's the audacity to order something like that in the middle of your day. Who do you think you are? I guarantee you this. How about this? I think the only people ordering Cinnabon went to the mall for a Cinnabon. Sure. I don't think they're shopping with any, for anything else. Is that a bad thing? I think they're going there, getting a Cinnabon, and leaving. I'll and tell then you, they're going back, and they're getting there in time for the production crew of hoarders to be at their house. I'll tell you perfect, I'll tell you perfect mall day. Perfect mall day. Tell me, oh, please. Start at Sam Goody, down the Cinnabon, <laughs> cross for an icy, into the arcade. I'm going home. All right? <laughs> You're out of your mind, dude. All right, let's if go to Cinnabon the phone. If Cinnabon was that good, I would have had one in my life. That's not true. You've never had a Whopper, and the Whopper is amazing. You've never had one. You had, had a Big Burger Mac King. for the first time six months, I've never three months been, ago. I've never been like, let me go to Cinnabon, look at their menu, and order something. Sal, because you're dumb. We've discussed... <laughs> Babe, dumb or not, babe. I know. I'm just kidding. You're not dumb. I'm just joking. I thought Pip would laugh when I called you dumb, and he did. All right, let's go to the phones, Bob. Cinnabon is the only legal way to get creamy goodness at the mall. Beautiful. You know who likes Cinnabon? Bon Chris Stefano. Annie Ann's all the way. Ooh, it's tough when you're using Chris against me in the argument. Annie Ann's is the devil. Those pretzels... Are a religious experience each and every time. I had to imagine it's a similar feeling to the Last Supper, but I don't know for sure because I wasn't there. Honestly, thank you, John <laughs> Milmore. Cinnabon oh, got it to t- trending. Look at this. No, Annie Ann's is trending. I lost. If Annie wow. Ann's is trending, then I lost. Wow! Yeah, <laughs> guys, we got Annie Ann's trending, baby. I love it. Cinnabon is for people who want their diabetes to have diabetes. All right. Agreed. That's in the lead. That is our lead comment so far. The one, This one's tough. Both get you with the smell, but at least after the pretzel, I can still look my wife in the eyes. <laughs> there you go. It's true. You don't eat in a mall, but if I must choose a soft pretzel is what came to mind when I read best mall snack. Fatties. Cinnabon is nature's sleeping pill. These I are weak, that. weak arguments. Pretzel maker puts Annie Ann's to shame. I don't know pretzel maker. Cinnabon it is. Joe's taste in food versus Joe's ability to put together a clear <laughs> argument defending it. <laughs> oh, that is so great, Jordan. He might have won before. I think I recognize that name. He's got like the most gorgeous sports car on the road doing its thing for Joe's taste in food. And then his ability to put an argument together <laughs> is just an old pickup on the side of the road. A lot of people like my arguments. <laughs> that's half a minivan. Yeah, yeah. that's very funny. Uh, that's very funny. All okay. right. Uh, Dr. Dr. Caldera sends white mice to the Cinnabon in Omaha to use as icing. I don't know what that means. Dr. Caldera is my better call Saul. 
Ah. Uh, character. I don't really quite get what that means, though, still. Cinnabon is your fir- is the first girl you date in college. Wild, free, reckless, and always a good time. Annie Hines is the librarian. Boring, old, and salty. Cinnabon for the win. Nah. That's great. The pretzel just hits different, and you can make cinnamon buns all the time, and you can get cinnamon pretzels anyway. I agree. We kind of cover the Cinnabon in our pretzel no, you, menu. You d- How dare cinnamon you? Cinnamon sugar with How icing. How dare you? I will not let you sit here and it's say a, that. It's a, I will it's not baked. let you sit here. No. It's got no. Butter, cinnamon, no. and icing. The cinnamon, cinnamon spread on the inside, that dark, gooey stuff, there is nothing in any of that I'm comes saying close we have the How essence. dare you? We have How the da- essence. No, you don't. No, you don't. I guess we do. Okay. How dare you? You take that back. Both are pale comparison to Nathan's. Ooh, Nathan's fries. Another yeah, but mall this was staple. A, but this was not a savory Hardest snack. one ever. Look at this. Wow. Uh, I hate cinnamon. Okay, so that's you. If you vote any ends, just block me now. All right, we'll block you. Pretzels are so much better. Cinnabon is for annoying little children who are begging to go to the Lego store. All right, this is pretty split down the middle, Pimpy. Let's give, I think the win is to people who want their diabetes to have diabetes, right? I like that. We laughed very heartily at that. Follow at Narlord. That's at G-N-A-R underscore L-O-R-D on Twitter here. Thanks for the winning tweet. Let's see what we got, Pimp. We're this, at nine. this is big. This is big because we are tight in the... St- Let's just talk about that for a second. We are very close in the win-loss column right now. Like, yeah, I think right. it's like you might be separated by a win or a loss. I think after last episode, you're up... No. I, you're up two? I don't know. We're close enough that this win could, I could make we're a within difference. Our, I think a we're big within difference for each either of us. Yeah, this is big. I don't know what to do here. Nine, Just about 10,000 votes. Oh... Pimp wants Cinnabon. Yes! Thank you, God. Give me Thank a Thank you, break. God. 67.8%. Give me a break. To 32.2%. Where my Annie Ann stands at. Annie stands. Give me a break. I stand Ann. I'm a Stanty Ann. Auntie Ann's my stand. I stand her. I love Annie Ann's. I'm going to go to Annie Ann's tonight. Cinnabon right. sucks. I'll just keep saying fun stuff until yeah. you talk. You got to end the episode. You won. All right. I'm just uh, basking in it a little bit. Yeah, bask in it. Let, let it rain a little harder before I have to walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, guys, we all knew Annie Ann's. No, I, I, I am really happy right now. Shut Ooh, up. That's a couple of W's there between last week and this week. Just shut up. <laughs> And I feel I feel like back to a little bit of confidence. You don't understand, guys. You could lose your confidence big with a couple of unanswered, oh, you know. Lo- the overall vote, by the way, was that it should just be a straight up. It's wins takes the cake. I understand. I, I really got bashed. Why for don't my we do a consolation? Argument. We'll make it its own separate entity. We'll make the winner of the season record, but we'll also have something else as its own competition yeah. for percentage gap. But we won't use percentage gap in relation to wins for the season. Okay. On the record. You know like what I'm saying? That, yes. Uh, check out the tenderloins.com slash tour for all the tour dates that are on now. Uh, they're on sale right now. We're going to like 50 cities uh, starting November 19th all through 22. If you don't see your dates, we'll be adding them. And go to savilcanocomedy.com for all my solo dates. A bunch of them are on sale right now. Joe DeRosa Comedy on Twitter and Instagram. I'll be probably announcing some dates soon, but the, more importantly, Joey Rose's Brick and Mortar Bar and Sandwich Shop is coming very soon. Big announcements and reveals coming up on that. Thank you for listening, everybody. Thank you for subscribing. Keep spreading the word. We appreciate your support. We couldn't do this without you. I still love you. Love you, too. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm sorry.